Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday today. And today we're going to be making some traveling puppet stages. And some of the supplies we'll be needing are a cereal or snack box, ribbon or string, whatever you have on hand, scissors, tape, glue, a ruler, some colored pencils or crayons, whatever you have. We need two rods for our puppets. I'll be using pencils, but you can also use sticks or um, you know bamboo skewers if you have them. A sharp mechanical pencil because we're going to be making some some holes in our box, and this is how I like to to do that and some various colored paper and cardstock or some extra cereal box that you have on hand. Mm -hmm. All right, Woo. and I'll show you what the finished one looked like. So I have string up here so that way I can wear it over, over my head, almost like a necklace. And then my puppets go up through the puppet track on the bottom. And we're doing some lion and mouse puppets today. So make sure you print out that template. Um, lion and Mouse is one of the shows that Wonderspark Puppets does. It's one of my favorites. Okay, first things first. We need our cereal box or our snack box. Now, to decorate it, I painted this one. So you can paint it if you want to, if you have paint at home, or you can just co uh, cover it it in colored paper. Um, I had paint on hand, so I just did that. And if you're going to paint it, make sure you do it before you do everything else. So I, I just painted a light coat of orange on this side. I didn't paint the whole thing yet because uh, I just didn't do it yet, but you might wanna paint the whole thing if you want to. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make a, a hole for our stage, a rectangle, just like this. And I'm gonna use my ruler. You don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to. You can also eyeball it. But I'm gonna determine where I want, how big I want my rectangle to be. I'm just gonna mark in maybe a half an inch on each side. Let's see. Just like this. Right. And then I think I'm gonna go up maybe, hmm, from the bottom, maybe another half inch or so. Or maybe about an inch, let's do that. And all I'm doing is just making a straight, straight as can be rectangle in the front of my stage. Again, feel free to eyeball if you want to. I just like using rollers. Okay, great. So I have my rectangle, as you can see here. Now we need to cut that out. This is where I like to use my sharp pencil or mechanical pencil, because that way I can just poke a hole in the rectangle, whoop, just like this. And that way my scissors can get in there quite easily. So I'm just gonna snip away. And depending on the type of box it is, you might need like a bit of sharper scissors. So Kids, make sure you get a grown-up's help if you need some help with this. Just cutting all the way out our rectangle. Okay, a little bit more. Let me just clean up this edge right here.
excellent. So we have our stage, the hole for our stage right here. Now the next thing we need to cut out is a puppet track. So we're gonna cut a slot on the bottom of your puppet stage. Now this one here is about, maybe about an inch. So I'm gonna save this for later. So save your uh, rectangle that you cut out for later. So now we're gonna go to the bottom and it's great because working with it flat is a lot easier. And we are going to get our ruler. There's my ruler. And I'm gonna do about an inch. And I'm just gonna make a long line. Whoop. Now we need to cut that out. So again, our trusty mechanical pencil or sharp pencil, we're just going to poke a hole, maybe two, three. So that way our scissors can get in there quite easily. it out. I'm going to test mine out with these. Choop. We haven't quite made these yet, but I'm testing them out. Great. Sometimes you'll find that you may need your um, puppet track to be a little bigger. Well, that's okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little scenery for my puppet stage using the leftover cereal box from that we, we just cut out. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do grass like I did before because this is like a jungle scene we're doing. It's Lion the Mouse. So I'm gonna do a little grass like in the jungle. And we can take our pencil. Great. It's made some edges like a, there you go. We're just gonna cut that out. Now you can paint this if you want to, or you can just cover it and green paper. So I could I could um, paint this if I wanted to. It has the paint from the other side, but I can paint the side green if I wanted to and, and then glue it in, or I can cover it with green paper, which we can just trace our piece on the green. Let me just move that so you can see. Now you can do the same thing by covering the whole box if you want to in color paper instead. Or maybe you want to see your cereal box. And we're gonna use our glue very soon. We're just gonna glue this down. I did this a little fast, but let me see. Okay, so. We can glue down that piece either with our Elmer's glue or our glue stick. I like using glue sticks. All right. All right. We have our grassy scenery. And I'm just going to take this and glue it on the bottom like that. You can also tape it if you want. I'm going to, I think I'm going to tape it. I think that sounds good. So I'm going to tape it. So I, that way I don't have to worry about drying so much. Just going to tape it down. I need a little bit more tape. Let me clear out this area so you can see better. Okay. And I just taped it right inside there. Awesome. So 
The next thing we need to do is if you if you like the backdrop for your puppet stage, say it's like just a solid color or if it's, you know, cardboard, you can keep it that way. Um, I'm going to add a backdrop by using some colored paper. And all I can do with that is I'm going to use, let's see. <laughs> She's blue or red. I think I'm going to use blue. Okay. And I'm just going to line up this paper on the back of the cardboard box, the, our snack box here. And I'm just gonna fold it to where I need to cut off some pieces. So I'm gonna fold it to make the shape of the back. So, so I'm just going to cut this part off here. the easier way to find out the size of the piece you need is by folding it. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to glue it inside here. And I'm gonna use my glue stick again. Right. All right, we're gonna glue our little backdrop. It's like the sky <laughs> in our puppet stage. Great. So now we have our, our sky, our grass. Now the next thing we're going to do is we can put the box back together and I'm just going to fold in each side. Now you can either choose to glue it together or tape it. I'm just going to tape it for now. If you already painted the box like on the sides and everywhere else you might want to glue it so that way you don't see the tape but you can always add color paper on top of the tape to hide it great so our our puppet stage is together almost so next thing we need to do is our string or our ribbon I'm gonna use some string. And we need to measure it to make sure it'll fit over, over our head. And you want the puppet stage to be, to be a little bit further down. So we're gonna measure some out. All this blue. Let's see if this will work. We can just measure it. Okay, that seems pretty good. Excellent. Okay, so how are we gonna put the string in our puppet stage box? Okay, let's see. Aha, our beautiful mechanical pencil that we can use to apply pressure. We're gonna apply pressure to the top and create two holes on the very top, just on either side. Okay, ready, one, two. You might wanna hold underneath. Ta-da, one hole. And then, now if you have a hole punch, you can totally use a hole punch too, but I find this is a little easier for me sometimes. Okay, so we have our two holes on top. One, two. Now we're going to feed the string through. So I'm gonna just feed it through the top. And this string likes to unravel a lot, so I'm just gonna feed it through with my mechanical pencil. So we have one, and then, oop, two. Great, so our string is in. And we will need to now tie it off. So we're gonna make some knots. And I'm just gonna make a knot at the end of the string Maybe two or three are good. You want the knot to be bigger than the hole that you made. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And now, woo, we have our traveling stage that we can wear. This one might be a little too long, but you can always just 
trim it down if you need to, or just take, create another knot in the back, which I'm gonna do now. Yay, traveling stage. So now we need our puppets. So we have this lovely handout of a puppet. Yes. This template here, we have a lion and a mouse. So first thing we need to do is to cut out the line and the mouse. I'll just create some space here. And I'm gonna keep my cereal box extras over here. And you can use car, uh, cardstock for this as well. You can also just print this onto the cardstock directly. So that way you don't have to worry about cutting it out and then transferring onto the cardstock. But it all depends on what your printer can do and handle. So I am going to cut out the lion. My mouse. There's my lion. lion and our mouse. Now the computer paper is just a little flimsy so we want something that's a little bit stronger so that's why I suggest either the cardstock or the cereal box extras. So we can with this the line fits on this piece. So I'm just going to glue them down on this piece and then cut around. a little bit stronger. So when we put them on the rods, we don't want them flopping around. Okay. It's a lot stronger now. Sounds floppity. Great. And then I'm going to do the mouse on the extra bit of cereal box, or you can do it on the cardstock. I'm going to glue him down. Awesome. Great, we have our mouse now. He's a bit stronger. So we can now color in our puppets. I'm just going to color this one a little quickly. We have our crayons or our color pencils. If you want to use markers, that works too. Okay, I'm going to do his mane. said this is just one of many shows that we do lion and mouse and you can check it out on our website wondersparkpuppets.com we are able to do virtual puppet shows for you and you can send us an email or dm us on facebook for that information okay i did a quick coloring job <laughs> So now we need to put them onto our rods. And I'm just gonna use two pencils that I have. Um, again, you can also use like a bamboo skewer or some sticks that you find outside. And I'm just gonna take my tape and I'm gonna tape sticks on. And now, let's see. 
don't know if you can see really well. So our puppets can fit right in the puppet track and we can put on a puppet show, a traveling puppet show. <laughs> Yay. So hello, my name is Jenny and I am with Wonderspark Puppets, of course. Thank you so much for tuning in and making some traveling puppet stages with me. And I uh, just want to let you guys know that we have a lot of uh, fun offerings on our website. We are selling merch, t-shirts, tote bags, and stickers. And uh, we are also offering special perks, membership only perks. Um, I think our lowest tier starts at $7 a month. And that includes like uh, interactions with puppets uh, virtually and a lot of exclusive content. And also we are accepting donations. Um, you can check us out on wondersparkpuppets.com. We are accepting donations through PayPal and Venmo. And if you search on Venmo, you can just find our, our uh, little logo, our dragon. And yeah, thank you so much for joining in. And we would love to see all your creations. Please hashtag wondersparkpuppets.com or wondersparkpuppets. <laughs> and we would love to see all the fun puppets that you're making with us. And tomorrow there will be a different puppet making craft at 4 p.m. So stay tuned and we hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.